Hey guys, this is that guy's big and welcome back to some more Bloodborne stuff. We just beat Bloodstar Beast. I leveled up one more time, so now I have, uh, I think I put one point into Arcane, I did, so we can have more item discovery. And the next time I level up, I'll definitely show you guys that it increases item discovery. So, one thing I do want to show you guys now is that since I have 11 insight, we can go view the insight shop, which is right over here. You have to have more than 10 insight to be able to, or 10 or more to be able to come in here. You can buy a bunch of that stuff, this stuff, and these stuff, which I'm going to buy just for the sake of buying. And now we can't go back in because of the fact that we don't have 10 insight. Let's see, look at that, they disappear. The bath appears to be linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. See, look at that. We needed our insight to do this. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to get an inc an, a, a really good amount of souls just by farming the same spot over and over again. Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to go straight. We're going to go straight, and we're going to kill this dude. We just need to kill him, and we get, we get to let the other guy kill us. The reason why we let him kill us is because of the fact that he takes us to a very special place. He is right here, he has a bag. Originally this place was filled with crows. It doesn't matter how he kills you, just as long as he kills you. Smacks me with the debt with the bag. Oh well. Okay, so as you can see, we're in Yarhar Gulansin Village, and we got an insight for you joining this place, so that's cool. Now, this is essentially a different area. And by that, I mean, this is a later game area with an extremely hard boss that we're not going to fight, but we are going to go get a lamp, and we're going to fight some of the area enemies. And now, these enemies can give you upwards of 3,000 souls. Yeah, 3,000 souls. That is absolutely insane. And these little enemies, oh, what the heck? Bro, I just got... I'm getting mauled by a little fucking chicken stick. I died. Holy shit, I died. Did not expect that. Oh, well. But at least we spawned still in, in uh, Yahar Ghoul Unseen Village. So my mistake was that we did not go all the way up the stairs. We need to go all the way up the stairs in order to get to the lamp. We're going to kill this thing so we can get some uh, bloodstone gem or whatever it is. Twin bloodstone shards. That's what we use. Oh god, I hate those enemies. That enemy right there is the worst enemy to fight because they get they are extremely hard. They are extremely hard, yes. And they give, well, they gave a good amount of souls, though. So that's a good thing. Whoop! We grab the moon and we leave. That's all we gotta do. Grab the moon and leave. Sprint through here. Let the stupid bitch come out. If they will. But our main focus here is to kill Senior Pig. And Senior Pig will bum rush you like so. To which you just do this. And wait for him to do that. Perfect. Power attack in the rear. And this will strike him. Misting his anus. Very disgusting. And then you can chain the uh, combo on the pig here. And he's dead. Now what you see here is that he should give us up to 3,000 souls. Yep, 3,000 souls. That is absolutely insane. And down here, we're going to grab some of these items. We have to kill all these wolves. And by all these wolves, I mean two wolves. These things are nothing to mess with. Like these things do damage. I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna lead them out one at a time. Come on. What you can do? Okay. All right. Okay. Awesome. Now we gotta kill this one. Come down here. Or not? Die. 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 Okay. Good. He's dead. Now we get some more Madman's Knowledge, so that gives us some more insight if we just do so choose to use. Do so choose to use. 
right here we get the black hooded gear which is so much better than this stuff so it's what we're gonna use actually the hunter's guard may be better just for the sake of blunt defense and blood defense and fire but this one gives us um, all right we're gonna keep that your hard ghoul we're gonna get that your hard ghoul we're gonna get that Eh, might as well just make it the full set. Boop. And now we have the cape. We look like a witch. We honestly look like a witch. Frenzied cold blood. Now that gives us a heck of a lot of freaking blood echoes. And I do mean a heck of a lot. So now we have one more pig to kill. And genuinely, the pigs, when they die, they drop about four, uh, two to four blood vials a go. So this is also a really good spot to uh, farm blood echoes. Be very careful with these pigs. They will do. They will kill you. They will do massive amounts of damage. And trust me, I've gotten some BS deaths on these pigs, and it's not fun. It's really not a fun thing to die by these things because they're so easy to chain kill. So just stagger and then just fist them in the anus. I don't like saying that, but it's what you got to do to kill them. Now, genuinely, they do drop items, and you get four blood vials a pop. So that's very good. Very, very good. So now we're gonna grab some bolt paper, which we can also gain by killing um, the two enemies in the room that we spawned with, the uh, guys with the bags. The bag dies, bag the dies. They drop those things as well as, along with, uh, they drop items that we can use to upgrade our stuff, as in twin bloodstone shards, and the uh, bloodstone shards in general so these overall this area is really good to farm as well as just level up and gain materials so it's that's kind of redundant because it's pretty much the same thing i just said we get more twin bloodstone shards so now we just need to get more bloodstone shards we can get by killing those guys in the room so this is a very very spectacular place to level up and do all your stuff that you need to do and this is what i'm going to be doing for the next couple minutes and what we need to do is get 10,000 in order to buy the chalice, not the chalice, but the uh, doodle da. I don't know what the doodle da is, but I think we should have enough to buy that, especially with the uh, souls, the blood echo thing that we got. We're going to use our frenzied cold blood. Boom. Just enough for us to get the next item we need, which is... The Hunter Chief Emblem. This is what we needed to level up, not to level up, but to get ourselves to the next area to fight Vicar Amelia. But we are nowhere near strong enough to fight her yet. What we are going to do is we're going to do a Chalice Ritual real quick, just so I can show you guys what this is. I have not beaten one before. They are pretty damn difficult, I'm not going to lie. They are pretty damn difficult. But it's, it's a very cool idea. Very, very cool idea. Hopefully, they'll continue to use it more in the future. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to light a lamp. Get boopy. And hopefully, I um, will do actually kind of well, because I do know some of the areas. I'm not sure if they're going to be the same as the one I had in my other character. But we'll give it a look-see. It looks to be the same so far. Yep, this one is the exact same as the one I had. So what we what we need to do is we just need to not worry about a lot of enemies except for maybe the, this one over here, which is a one of these dudes. Which they're not too difficult to kill, especially if you know the pro strats. He's got a knocking him back with the heavy attack. It's also a good a good spot to farm because enemies are infinitely spawning. At least some parts are, and you can just keep on just letting them drop and then die. It's so simple. Literally right here. You just can, if you stand right here, these enemies drop. You can smack them and they die. Do I have anything to kill? I honestly, need, I really need to kill that guy because he's a major douche. Doesn't look like I do. So we might have to take a poison from him because he throws poison darts. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, what you got? 
you got, big boy? Nothing, because you're dead. Alright. Do we have any antidotes? I should, I do. Awesome. Let's make sure we have the antidote on. Get our Kirk Hammer out again. Now watch out here, because this guy throws Molotovs. Let him throw one. Oh, he throws two. Kill him. Ooh, a poison knife. Perhaps we can uh, return the favor. Alright. Just gonna be able to lock on. Throw! Ah. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, goodness. Is he actually gonna make it past that thing? Nope. Ha! Whew. Okay. Oh. Hey, we're not poisoned. That's awesome. We need to do is we need to kill fire dude and then this dude and then this dude this, this one keeps summoning in all these phantoms and now we need to use our antidote and grab whatever things this guy drops heal hey look another one I only thought one spawn but oh well BAM C -c -c combo Hey, you dropped fire paper. That's actually really awesome. I did not know they dropped fire paper. I mean, I guess this kind of makes sense considering they have fire in them. So that is the area boss pretty much. And as you can see why, he is, does massive amounts of damage. And I have not beaten him. I've gotten close. Haven't beaten him though. Really actually kind of nervous. I wonder if I can go ahead and I can! Woo! So that's cool. I don't know if that does it like, automatically for everything. I do want to try to kill this guy though. Because this is actually as far I've, I've, as I've ever gotten in a Chalice Dungeon. And we killed him! Awesome! I'm making, making progress. Three blood vials. You couldn't have dropped anything else. But I do know where the door opens because there's only one other door in this place. So we might as go we might as well go take a look see over that area. Eh, we could, we'll take the drop. Oop. Oh man, my voice I think it just may have just cracked like I felt it cracking. I felt it it was close. I don't know if I actually did though. So we don't really need to worry about the rats, because we can just climb up the ladder and the rats can all get us. I think this is it. Yup. There we go. So this is as far as I've ever gotten in a labyrinth. I'm honestly kind of scared now. Because I have no idea. Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? It's a bass! Okay. Alright. I see you don't like eating that. Ouch. I wonder if I can visceral strike him. I'm, I'm pretty certain I can. Whoop! Be very careful from fighting fire demon. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay, bad idea to try to visceral strike the giants. Woo! One more. Yeah, right, girl. Oh, shit. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill this thing. I honestly don't. Uh, did that hit me? Okay. That makes more sense. Alright, well, I'm dead. Oh, well. That's quite alright. Quite alright indeed, because I did not expect to kill that thing. I honestly didn't ex even expect to have a boss fight there.
I mean, we can give it another go. Oh man, this is intimidating. We'll give it one more shot. One more shot. So the fire paper seems to do more damage. I don't know how well that works though. Boop! We're gonna go heavy, heavy mode. Okay, bad play. Bad play. <laughs> Girl. I dodged that. Bruh. Bruh. Oh shit, come on! I did so much more damage that time. <laughs> and it was in a shorter amount of time as well. Okay, well, this is all the time we have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I have. This has been more, actually, than I've done in a while. So thank you guys so much for all the support, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been That Guy's Bacon, and until then, peace.